Hi guys. I just thought I would have a late night chat with you. Kitty's leaving. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit of a weird update. <sighs> Sorry, Callie's in bed already. Dennis is downstairs. I just took a bath. It's relax time right before bed. Um, so I feel like, you know, I've updated you guys lately, but I keep like forgetting to say some of this stuff because it's just all the other stresses are like building up and I keep, I don't know, I'm trying not to avoid this situation, but anyway, just rambling. Um, so as things have been really stressful and my house is full of wedding stuff and my table's full of wedding stuff and crafty stuff and paint and <clears throat> whatever, I have really gotten out of my routine with r vitamins is super bad and I feel like oh, I'm a bad weight loss surgery patient I I was doing really good with it and now it's like it's not like I'm gaining a ton of weight it's not like I'm that's a great ankle <laughs> but I'm just not being as healthy as I should be like I don't know I feel like it's horrible to not take all your vitamins you know like drill it into your head take them take them <sighs> but life is just insane right now. Um, and if you've been watching the last couple of videos, I've been really worried about my niece. And she was in a 72-hour lockdown. Turns out they let her out early. Not on good behavior. She was not cooperating with them. She was not participating in groups. She was not doing what they were asking her, telling her to do. She was not cooperative. She was just... I, I don't know why they would let her out early. Um... She is cutting herself really bad and very deep. I don't know why they would let her go. She's a runaway risk. I don't understand. Um, <clears throat> there's also another situation at home where she's trying to get people in trouble and she's lying about certain things. And, oh, it's just not good. Not good. <sighs> and now there's a delay in getting her in anywhere. I'm not sure of everything around that situation. Um, my mother just informed me last night that my aunt, so my mom's sister, um, probably only has like two weeks left to live. <clears throat> and I was very, very surprised about that. I knew she had cancer. Um, I didn't know the whole situation. Uh, in the summer at my nephew's graduation party, I heard that she was like rushed into surgery and they had found cancer. <clears throat> my mom just told me that she was having horrible um, stomach pains and they found a blockage in her colon. It turned out to be cancer. They said, you know, if we want to do radiation, everything, be aggressive, you might have two years. Um, it's your choice. She decided not to do anything. <clears throat> she wanted to just not be on drugs and not be miserable and just enjoy her family. Um couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, she went in and found out that it has spread to her liver. She is at the point that she's in hospice. Um, she's starting to turn yellow. My parents are actually moving up the time that they're coming out here. They're leaving now on the 12th, staying out here through my wedding on the 28th, uh, so that hopefully she can see her sister before she passes away. There's just so much stuff going on. I've had a lot of other stuff on my mind, too. Um, I don't know if I've even mentioned this ever to you guys. <clears throat> uh, so, I'm worried that... This may sound crazy. Like, I'm a total hypochondriac. Is that the right word? Um, but, like, all of these crazy symptoms that I've had over the past 10 years or more, it all seems to be adding up to... I may have, this is just my guess, I have not gone in for tests or anything, but I feel like I may have the beginning symptoms of MS, which I feel like weird, like I'm exaggerating things or I'm like looking for something weird to be wrong with me, but for like 10 years I've had all kinds of issues where I stand up and everything goes black and I feel like my muscles are like, you know, like super tense, like you just ran 10 miles and they're like tensed up and I feel like I'm going to drop to the ground. Um, like 10 years ago-ish, they 
had me do a cardiac halter monitor and it turned out my heart was fine. They were like, we don't really know what's wrong with you. You can come back in to do like some maybe scans on the brain, see what's all going on. And at that time I had no money. I don't even know if I had insurance at that time. So I was like, nah, I'll just kind of ignore it. Um, I have had a lot of memory issues where I'll be like writing on a piece of paper and I like stop halfway through and I'm like, what am I doing? What am I writing? What, what's happening? Um, I forget like regular words. I'll be in like counseling and I'm talking about things like, oh, and at my wedding, uh, party, uh, I can't think of the word like shower or I can't think of just simple everyday words and it's happening more and more and more, um, lately. You know, that weird thing where my muscles tense up and I feel like I'm going to drop to the ground and everything goes black. As stress has increased around the wedding, it's happened sometimes up to 10 times a day. And, like, I'll just be walking along and I have to grab onto something or or I'm going to fall. And it's getting really weird. And I don't know. There's a lot of things that sometimes at night when I'm laying down and I'm trying to relax and everything, like, I can feel my muscles, like, you know, jerk and kind of spasm a little bit and like my fingers and toes go numb a lot and just a lot of strange symptoms that have been adding up to it seems like I may have something like that uh, my sister-in-law is a nurse and my best friend sister-in-law made of honor and I've I was like okay I just need to ask you do you think that I'm crazy and she's like oh actually that would explain all the weird symptoms you've had over the past many years and I was like okay I don't feel as insane but I just thought I would fill you in on that um and as you know maybe like six months ago I had the whatever it was the injection in my spine um for my back problems and it went like amazingly well after maybe six weeks ish I just started to like not feel that horrible pain every single day and like you know, all of a sudden I just noticed, I was like, oh, I feel like normal until I'd do something stupid because I wasn't feeling pain all the time and I wasn't being careful and I'd throw up my back a little bit. But on a daily basis, the pain was like good, like very, very manageable, maybe like a two or, you know, less, almost nothing. Um, it's starting to wear off now. So there's some strange updates for you. I don't know if you guys all wanted to know. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm full of TMI tonight. I might as well tell you. Okay, so I took Clomid this past month trying to get pregnant and everything. I don't know who of you have all taken it before, but like, just wanted to know your experience on it. If you thought that you were super hormonal or like, you know, when you didn't get pregnant and you got your period, was it horrible? Because I am bleeding a ton and I was very moody <laughs> this whole last month and very crabby, and I feel horrible, like, do I want to continue to try to take Clomid, do I want to do something else, I don't know, <sighs> but the thing is, like, I don't want to go into the doctor until after all this wedding stuff is over, even though I'm worrying that I could possibly have MS, I was like, eh, I got too much on my plate right now, I don't want to worry about it, I'll just, even though I do worry about it, but I don't want to deal with it, if something really is wrong with me right now, we'll deal with that later. It looks like I have a giant mustache and a beard. It's the lighting of the phone, the shadow. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you all my crap tonight. And <laughs> I don't know. Just feel like I have to get this stuff off my chest. And you guys are the people that I talk to. So why not just spill my guts and let y'all know everything that's going on. Uh, so if you guys are the praying type, just keep me and my family and so many of the people in my family in your prayers right now. There's just a lot going on. Um, yeah, you guys are pretty phenomenal, amazing, supportive people, and I really appreciate having you guys in my life. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> I might be, but, oh, anyway, love you guys.